Hello, my friends. Ah! I can finally wear this necklace proudly without hiding it. Ah! Hello, my friends. It's Nina, and I made a necklace ah! with Anna Luisa. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So yes, as the title says, after about a year, I can finally tell you that I've been working on a necklace with Ana Luisa. It is the necklace that I'm wearing right now. I am so in love with it and it's finally launching today. This is the first time I made jewelry, but as you know, I love accessories. I love, my hands really dry. But as you know, I love jewelry. I love necklaces, earrings, rings, bracelets. I just think that jewelry and accessories just really enhance an outfit. Especially if I'm wearing a very simple outfit, I just like to throw on a bunch of accessories. But my favorite kind of jewelry is necklaces. I wear a necklace in most of my videos. I finally just get to wear my own necklace every single day. So I am finally launching this necklace today. By the time you're watching this, it should be January 15. That is when the launch is. And you'll be able to buy it for yourself on Ana Luisa's website. I am so happy and so so excited and I am just going to kind of go through the process with you kind of explain how everything came together the last year or so I am just so happy with it so if you know or don't know Ana Luisa it is a jewelry company they're known for their sustainability for their really high quality pieces and they also collaborate a lot with other creators I know some other creators who worked with Ana Luisa as well and their pieces look great so when I got the email from Ana Luisa that they wanted to make a piece with me I was excited I was also just honored that they would want to to collaborate with me because I love jewelry, but I didn't know too much about it. They were very knowledgeable, very patient, very nice. I got to directly communicate and work with the actual team. Firstly, I want to thank Tina of the team for starting this whole thing with me. She was the one who reached out and kind of started it all. So thank you, Tina, for being so nice and for being so patient and helpful. I also got to work directly with Annie, who is the lead designer at Ana Luisa. She was very understanding and patient throughout the entire experience. Anytime I wanted a change or a different direction. She was just up for it and she made me feel included. There were a few times where I did change the direction and I felt worried like is this too much of a change? Can this happen or that? And she just went with it. Anna Luisa actually has a team of renowned designers who've worked with some of the biggest brands in the world so I was intimidated but in the end it was a great experience and they helped me create this piece. I got to work with and speak with a lot of their designers who knew what they were doing, who knew what looked best in a piece, what didn't, what could work, what couldn't work. I honestly feel like I learned a lot through this experience. I learned more about the different types of chains, different types of pendants, gems, the process, what goes into a project. This whole thing was a bit out of my comfort zone, but I definitely learned a lot. So I already knew that Ana Luisa made great pieces. They're high quality, their pieces are long lasting, and everything is just made with human care and touch. Also a bonus, but every purchase comes with a one year warranty. So if it breaks or you need to replace it, there's a warranty for you. There were just a lot of good aspects about Ana Luisa that made me want to work with them, such as their commitment to sustainability, they are carbon neutral and they're also transparent about their pricing. Overall, I just had a very positive and valuable experience with them and I was able to create a piece that I'm proud of. So thank you to the team at Anna Luisa for believing in me and for working on this with me. I am now going to go into more detail about the actual necklace itself. So I actually have another piece. During the actual process, they send you samples. So here are my necklaces. But I created a delicate silver necklace. It has a sky blue topaz gemstone, which is my birthstone. And the necklace chain and the piece itself is rhodium plated brass so it is hypoallergenic. I went with a silver piece because personally I like wearing silver jewelry. I also personally just like timeless simple pieces so I really wanted this to be a piece that you could wear every single day. You could take it on and off, wear it with any outfits, any occasion whether it's formal or casual. I didn't want the pendants to be too big because I wanted it to be a delicate piece. I feel like it's a little more special and cute. You can just wear it by itself as an everyday piece or you can also layer it with chains, other necklaces. This also comes with different lengths. If you look closely you can make it longer, a medium length, or a short length. I am wearing it at its shortest length, but you can also make it longer. You can wear it with button-ups. I wear a lot of button-ups, so it was a perfect sort of size and shape. But then I've also worn it with turtlenecks, square tops, tank tops, everything. It's just literally a good everyday piece. I personally went with a gemstone because I don't have a gemstone necklace in my collection, actually. I have a bunch of silver pendants, coin necklaces, things like that, but I don't have a gem necklace for myself. So I decided I'm gonna make a piece that I don't have. So it is this sort of vintage, delicate gemstone pendant. I was actually inspired by a necklace that my mom had. She actually has a lot of gemstone pieces in her collection that she passes down to me. But basically the necklace was kind of in honor of my mom. In the end, I just wanted this to be a piece that anyone could wear. So going into more detail about the product, it has a twisted rope border, which I'm a fan of. It kind of gives it a classic.
classy vintage look and they were able to source a sky blue topaz I really wanted the stone to be a topaz because that is my birthstone I just thought if my first piece is going to have any gemstone gotta be my birthstone I sent them a mood board of the stone that I wanted it was more of a dark blue because that's the one that I was familiar with but they were able to get a sky blue topaz and that was the perfect choice for some reason I've never seen a sky blue topaz so the image wasn't in my brain but when they presented the sky blue topaz to me in a diagram it was so cute so pretty it literally looks like you have a piece of the sky just on your chest so cute as you know I love painting skies I love a good light blue so I was really happy that we were able to get a sky blue topaz I think it's perfect I think it captures me pretty well my windows right there and it's just so pretty I also thought the sky blue would just capture the whole delicate feel of the necklace really well but that's the final product so through the process they did ask me for mood boards I sent them about three <laughs> I'm telling you this was a long process <laughs> but my first mood board was kind of showing the kind of vibe that I wanted with the piece I just wanted it to be a delicate everyday piece that you can wear in casual situations informal situations any aesthetic things like that and I really expressed to them that I just wanted to make a silver piece and then another mood board was kind of showing more gem necklaces and then the third one I just kind of drew what I envisioned and we just worked from there and then they would send me these PDFs or these slide presentations that went into more detail about the direction that we should go in wow just looking back at the original options and all the rough drafts ah! but I would choose the direction we would go in and then they would send me a more refined design. They would send me a jewelry spec sheet and this would be basically the final design before they would go into production. And when I saw this preview, I was so in love with the preview. I'll actually just insert it somewhere here. But they told me the exact size of the piece, the materials, the gemstone itself, and it was so pretty. So literally just all the specs and it felt more real. I was like, dang, this is gonna be my jewelry piece. But that was basically the process of it. I waited some weeks for the sample. I got the sample. I wish I filmed my first reaction, but I showed my parents the sample and they were in love with it. I was nervous at first, but everyone was in love with it. And so I was confident in the piece as well. I love the piece. This is my baby. It's so cute. Cute. So after I got the prototype and tested it out for a few weeks, they finally went into production and we planned the launch. I worked extensively with Alexandria. She was so, so helpful making sure that everything was going okay, giving me updates, helping me prepare the content for the launch and just make sure that everything was going well. I took some high quality pictures for the launch, which was fun. It was kind of like a little photo shoot. And then finally we made it to the launch, which is today. <laughs> so it has been a very long journey, but we are here. This is my necklace to you. It has been made with a lot of care, a great team. But overall, I had a great experience working with Annalisa and I am so proud of this necklace and I can't wait for you guys to see it. The launch is today and I do have a link in the description if you want to purchase it for yourself, for a friend, a family member, a significant other, or anyone special to you. I hope you enjoy this necklace and if you do get the necklace and if you finally get to wear it, please send me a picture, let me know, tag me on Instagram, all those things. It's so weird thinking that people are going to wear my necklace. Also, don't forget to leave a review on the website once you get it. I'll be reading those. <laughs> but I do hope you enjoy it. It was so fun getting to experience this and work on a special project. But that is what I wanted to talk about for this piece. And I am so happy that I finally get to share this year-long secret with you. I made a necklace with Ana Luisa and I can't wait for you to get it. Thank you to Ana Luisa for making all this happen. And thank you for watching my content, caring about my life, and for being here because I wouldn't have opportunities like this if it wasn't for you. So if you are able to get the necklace, thank you. And if you can't, I still love you the same. Overall, this was just a very fun project to work on, a very personal one and I'm just happy to share with you. You're most likely going to see me wear this all the time now. <laughs> Maybe until my next piece. Anna Luisa, if you want to work on another piece with me, I'm down. <laughs> Don't forget to check the link in my description for the piece. Whether you're buying it or not, at least you can just see the pictures. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy the piece and I will see you next time. Goodbye, my friends. Love you very much. <laughs>